Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, as promised, I wanted to showcase some of my mom's homemade greeting cards that she's given me over the years just because she put so much time and energy into them and I, I really, really appreciate them and she doesn't have any kind of social media, Instagram or anything to showcase on them. You might also see a cat cameo from Alice or Aloy, so you can uh, enjoy that too. But yeah, it's just uh, I just love all these cards that she's given me, so we're going to take a close look at all of them. Aren't we, Al Pal? Aren't we? So without further ado, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we've got about 20 some cards here. This is the Valentine's Day one that she does. She's really into getting different papers and things from the craft stores, experimenting with different cutting tools. Uh, she's got lots of different stamps and there's textures in here. Um, I don't know all the science behind it all, but I just know there's a ton of work. As you can see, there's raised bits here and there's the insides. She uses stamps on all of this. She doesn't do like hand lettering or anything. Obviously you can tell where she signs it and stuff, but this is all raised too. So that's one, won't spend too much time on it because we got a lot. Here's an Easter one, it says rejoice. It's got jumping rabbits, um, it's got some flowers, just so many layers of detail. I really like the pastels in there. Um, we got a cutout of a Celtic cross, help happy Easter, another stamp right there. Here's a little bunny rabbit with a little cotton ball tail on there. Super cool, shimmery paper. Like that one a lot. Here's a really cool one. This one's got cats on it. That's all rays. I don't know if that's, yeah, that's all separate pieces, different papers, more shiny stuff in there. That was my birth, a birthday card. And a little raised stamp right there. Mom 2022, so that was a more recent one. Probably my last birthday, last January. Saint, here's a here's a, kicking it up a notch. Here's a lot of detail with this one. This must have been St. Patty's Day. We've got some wings, a clover. So yeah, it's like paper casting she does. So this was probably like a paper casting. It's like kind of like a paper mache type deal. Oh, this one's really cool. Got some flower, little fake foliage in there. And here we got all kinds of cool stuff. Got some, another uh, stamp, uh, a couple different, she mixes and matches different stamps and things. I don't know what she did to get this effect around the edge of the paper or if that was like that already. But this is all raised and stuff. I know you can't really see it or feel it, but yeah, just about everything is like raised. She uses a special uh, stuff to pour on there and raise it. So just about everything has has a lot of texture there. Yeah, my mom and I have the same initials, CR. Her name's Carrie. And here's a, another Christmas one. Pretty cool. It's got some got some embellishment there. There was a bookmark included that she did not make, but it was still pretty cool. She signed it and stuff. This has got a lot of raised portions here, a lot of different cutouts. I don't know if she cuts out these individually by hand or if it comes like that in a package or not. I'm actually not 100% sure. But either way, it's just a, a ton of detail on all of them. Here's a Thanksgiving one. I think this might be the only Thanksgiving one I have. Uh, I'm not sure if something fell off of that or if that's just how it was, but that's kind of cool. I like the leaf and the brown. I like the earth tones. It kind of stands out from the other ones. This is one of my favorite ones though. This is a Halloween one and it's so cool because it's got uh, little windows that open up here and you can see the spookies. You can see the ghosts in there and that, that has like a little bit of texture to it, like a weird uh, material texture. But I love this one. This one's really, is really cool. It's got almost like she airbrushed or something in there. I don't know. She she experiments with a lot of like alcohol inks and stuff too. So I guess that's where I get a little inspiration from too is with uh, media exploration. That's getting shiny uh, stuff on my hands. But yeah, no, that one's, oh, there's the glitter. That's where it's coming from. <laughs> she glittered the back of it. So that one is, oh, I love that one a lot. Here's another really cool Halloween one that I love. This one's extra special because it's a Happy Llama, Happy Llama Ween. Open the, open if you dare. There's a mummy, mummy llama on the front there. Different, I don't know, if they're, again, I'm not sure if she airbrushed that. She doesn't have an airbrush, so I don't know how she got that effect. But, oh, look at that, look at this. This is, yeah, this is one of my favorites. 
I just love these these zombie llamas or whatever, Fright Night. I don't know where she found all this crazy stuff, but I mean, I do. She goes to Joanne's and Hobby Lobby like me, but uh, that's so cool. It got some weird splatter stuff, cool little witch stamp on there. She uses a lot of these paper crafting stamps that we saw to make cookies too. She does really intricate cookies. Uh, out of these cookie molds, she collects those. This one's crazy intricate. This was this. This is my birth. Another birthday? Yeah. But I love the detail. It's kind of an old school, kind of typewritery feel. I got this hand is like raised. I think that was cast out of either paper or clay. It feels kind of like clay. And then you've got like a little seal, like a wax seal going on there. I don't think it's a real wax seal. I could be wrong though. It might be. No, I heard. Who knows? But I love these cogs and just the whole aesthetic of it. This is all raised up on it too. So this part's starting to come unglued, but oh my god, that that uh, that is really cool with the spider web on there. A uh, little bottle of something. Inside we got a dude riding on a on his kind of a steampunky <laughs> uh, fish or something. Keep inventing yourself. Happy birthday, Caleb. Yeah, that was probably two years ago, if I had to guess. Uh, yeah, twenty. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, twenty twenty. So world needs more. So that's 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 pretty cool. Here's another St. Paddy's Day one. As, as you can say, we take our St. Paddy's Day seriously in this Irish family. Even though mom's not Irish, uh, dad is. So we, we get into it. But it's got kind of a neat, uh, I don't want to say burlap cloth, but that it's kind of like it. Going on in the background, button, uh, different papers and things raised up. No ink on this one, I don't think. I don't know. It's just so, it's so seamless. And sometimes I open these, I'm like, oh, she totally bought this, but it doesn't. She just, it's not, they're all handmade. And she's just insane, it's crazy talented uh, with the way she puts these together. So much uh, love and uh, uh, you know, craft into them. You know, St. Patty's clover on there. Uh, let's see what this one is. This one is a Christmas one. Sometimes she'll make them out to extended family and just kind of make generic ones. So that's kind of what this one is. Still really cool, you know, less detailed and stuff. But I mean, when you're mass producing them, you know, putting letters and stuff in it, obviously you can't put as much detail into all of them. But even still, I just love the whatever the heck she uses uh, to get that effect on there with the snowy flakes and the storms and stuff. Very neat little uh, stuff going on there. Oh, actually, this one was for my sister, Alyssa. Sorry, just kidding. Uh, so yeah, Alyssa's also into these cards too and has dabbled as well, because this one's from Christian, Alyssa, Taylor, and Jake. So shout out to Alyssa for making this one. Um, very cool, creative. Definitely better than I have ever done with, with cards. So uh, she punched out. She was doing some hole punching too with the snowflakes. So that's very cool. She did that a couple years ago. Uh, let's see, let's see what we got here. This is probably Thanksgiving. Um, yep, there we go. There's one. There we go. There we go. Less, a little less detailed than some of the other ones, but this has got, this has got a really nice metallic sheen to it. I don't know how she did that, but it's really cool. Good thanks, Carrie 2020. Here's, here's another Christmas one. Very cool. I like the stars, and we got some. Uh, we got some deer in the forest. I really like the crackle. Um, it works really well for the birch bark look on there. I think that was probably bought like that, or maybe it was a paper that she used. I have no idea. I don't know. But it, it comes together. You don't question the science behind it. You just appreciate the results. It's very, very cool. 2019 from mom. Here we got another Easter one. We got a little paper folding going on in here with the purple cross on the greenish paper. Got some pearls and some lace going on there. Happy Easter from the fam. Nothing going on in the back. Pretty cool though. Pretty cool. Next up, we got a Valentine's Day card. We got two gorgeous llamas, and this one cracked me up because this llama's got a majestic beard. Hashtag beard goals right there. And this one's got a bow tie because bow ties are cool. Be my Valentine. We got sparkly hearts, little bow. Very lovely looking llamas. From your mama llama. Is, is my name? Yep. <laughs> certainly is. And sent with a prayer. Got a little dove going on there. Love that one. And of course, St. Patty's Day, <laughs> once again. We got some, we got a quote there. Blessing of the day. Don't know what that says, but it's a blessing nonetheless, so thanks. 
And this is all raised, so I don't know what she did. She pressed it or something to create this texture all the way through, and then layered up with these other bits and bolts. And there's my nail. And some more stuff going on in there. And there we go, carry 2019. Love the Celtic thing, it's raised, raised ink. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like sprinkles are almost, you put it on the ink and it puffs it up and you use a hair dryer. I don't know, I've never tried it before, but that's kind of what I gathered. I might have that wrong. Let's see what this one is. Looks like Easter. Hot dog, it sure is. Kind of looks like an Easter egg. Got different paints going on there. She must have, yeah, probably busted out the watercolors or something. Pretty sweet little note to tuck back in there. Very nice, very nice. From the heart 2020. I feel like we had a lot of holidays. Like the same, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I feel like we had we doubled up on holidays. Don't eat the cards, Al Pal. We'll just move them over here. And what we got here, we got another birthday. Happy 27th. Oh man, I'm feeling old. <laughs> All right, that was really, that was pretty cool. A little more minimalist design, but very cool nonetheless. Oh, oh, what, what do we got here? 2012, the paper studio. I feel like she's cheating here. I don't know, we got we got some trademark going on. Well, that's okay. We, we get, we get, we, you, got, you get a pass on that one, Mom. It's still homemade. All right, here's another St. Patty's Day, once again. We celebrate like four holidays out of here. <laughs> Christmas, Easter, St. Patty's Day, and birthdays, I guess. But this one's got a lot of detail in it. Love the St. Patty's Day here. We got some more sparkly clovers. This one, okay, this was straight up paper cast right here, where she probably had a mold and then used like, I don't know, toilet paper or whatever, and glue, I don't know how you did it. And then she painted over it, slapped that bad boy on there before layering it up with paper and gold and all sorts of goodies. And we got some 3D effect. I don't know what's going on there, but it's happening. It's like gold embellishment. So that's crazy. We'll pop up. She's just showing off at this point. We got a sweet Celtic cross right there. 2019. Getting towards the end. This one's pretty sweet. This is a Christmas one. Wow. Look at that. Look at that 3Dness going on there. Nuts. Wonder how many, that's like five layers. One, two, three, four, five, like six layers or so. I don't know, that's that's freaking next level. I don't know. Away in a manger. That is so cool, you can see all the, see all the intricacies. And then, yeah, she put some stamps and stuff on the back there, no well. That's pretty crazy. That's not even a card, that's just a, that's a, that's a work of art right there. All right, we got a few more left. Another St. Patty's Day. Just kidding. It's Valentine's Day. I was testing you. Looking pretty cool. We got flowers now. Looks like they got some paint on them and some raised bits, hugs. And we got a note, I, and that does not open. I have tried. It's decorative. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to break it. But yeah, that was from, I don't know. That was from years, years ago. I like the shininess. That was pretty sweet. Made with love. Yeah, oh, yeah. Not honor honorable mention. She also uh, makes some little tags and stuff for Christmas. I just didn't have the heart to get rid of them because they're still cool. A lot of work goes into those, so I've saved a couple of those. And sometimes she even puts like cool stamps on the envelopes. It's like it says, "Creep it real." That's so cool. Fright night. How do I get rid of that? Halloween, October thirty-first. It's like shoot. That one's not as impressive. But... All right, last couple. Uh, this one's falling apart, but it's still pretty cool. We got no, one last Christmas one here. Glad Tidings. Looking pretty sweet. That's yeah, falling apart. We got the whole, we got a whole life story written out there. Um, and then, yeah. This was probably sent out to, you know, more extended family and stuff. So Handmade Carrie 2018. So she's been doing it for a few years, like, as you can see. And then this one, this one's saving one of the best for last. This one's crazy. This is birthday. 29 a few years a few years ago so it had this special little wrap that she put on there and then celebrate 29 look at all these llamas happy birthday i love it look at all those llamas look at all those yodeling llamas they've all got sunglasses some of them are like winking through their sunglasses this one's majestic it's so sparkly bow ties on all of them. Heck yeah, I love this one. Probably my favorite, or the zombie llama one, I don't know. But that one is amazing. 
Did she write on it anywhere? No. She got the message across. The llamas do the talking, as you can see. So yeah. So yeah, as you can see, my mom is crazy talented with her card making skills. Um, if you like this video or like her cards, please drop the video a thumbs up so that I can show it to her and be like, Hey mom, look at you're blowing up on the YouTubes and stuff. And maybe she'll be inspired to make a channel or an Instagram or something. But at least she'll know that uh, they were appreciated. So thanks for, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.